Ladies and gentlemen, oh my god, I'm off for Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to the greatest show on earth. I am your host, Anjindra, and we bring you everything that is awesome in, in gaming here at What to Play Next. This is the literal number one best, well, num number two best RPG of all times. Obviously, the number one is the one that my father and I started in, which is the Bethesda Softworks Elder Scrolls. That's the number one best-selling PC game. So. You play Captain Shepard. Let's, we'll take a look at our girl here. So this is Captain Shepard. There's Caden. We picked up Bird Not Rex. Apparently stopped to have a chat. You are in outer space. It's the future. There are alien races. The first human specter. Obviously we shoot to the top because we're good at warfare. And the world as we know it is ending! There's a synthetic group of beings who... Have I been through here? There's a synthetic group of beings who are um, returning. And they're being enslaved by another specter gone rogue. Presumably to destroy the literal entire galaxy. I can't figure out how to get in here. Uh, right now we are in... Basically at Central. We're, we're at the command center. Kind of sorting things out before we really get going on our mission. You can't tell. You're like plunged into this storyline. Um, there is there are no breaks. It's a mile a minute. Um, you get a ton of choices. Like way you know how people complained about Telltale. It's because of RPGs like this, where you just like you can do anything, and they actually even record it for you. Where. Um, in, for instance, in Mass Effect 2, you can load your character, and then when you load your character, it loads all the choices along with them. Oh, so, if you said, you know, if you killed somebody, they're still dead. If you Show me what saved you got. somebody, they're still grateful. Excellent. I hope you find what you're looking for. You can um, up just about anything. Um, so, let's see. Good human armor. I have a decent amount of credits, but not a ton, so I guess I should probably leave off on the armor. We only have a couple of things that we have to do before we go. We're trying to find another Marine's um, CO. She passed away in battle, and her husband would like her remains returned. They're being held. He doesn't know why. They're not really releasing why. So we agreed to go ahead and find the CO and talk to them. They, he said they were in a nice bar. Of course, we went to Flux, which was where the center of a lot of action is. Coming up, they have like gambling. They have you know all sorts of stuff. Corruption on the Citadel and uncovers a full-blown crime syndicate. That's Emily Wong. We gave her the discs. Um, we busted Cora's den, which is like, you know, let's be a real friend. That's probably the one that you would go to unless you're with your aunties. Um, so we busted. Um, Fist is the name of the guy who ran there. We couldn't exactly give the disc to CSAC because they're sensitive. They're, there's like a lot of civilian information and whatnot on it. So we give them to this reporter, Emily Wong. Um, she's with us through, I think, three of the games. So she's really cool. Um, ooh, this is new. Where am I going? Okay, so this is the walkthrough. Hey, Commander Shepard. Good to see you again. Anything you need? I have to Already go. Already talked to him. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander. You can get all sorts of, um, this is interesting. Lots of people like the sci-fi slides. We definitely have that. So that was really cool to me where you could go through, um, you could do, like, um, 50,000 years ago, the Protheans were the only spacefaring species in the galaxy. They so you actually have the that for everyone you run into. Roughly 1,200 years ago, the really cool, nice feature um, that I think a lot of people who are into sci-fi, especially now, this plays like fantasy sci-fi. They did do the nice hybrid, but they weren't too, you know, they weren't nuts about it. To the city and that's where it's going. Huge space station. I mean, not by, if you're used to roguelike, maybe not by your standards. 
but the city um uh, the elevators and then occasionally you get news in the elevators so that's cool too so anyways we're on basically on a mission from god we gotta save the universe for the anniversary of the end of the Rachni wars Many council worlds, particularly Asari and Solarian colonies, will hold victory parades to commemorate the defeat of the invading Rachni. In a rare admission of debt, several Asari colonies have invited Krogans to be honored for the victories the uplifted Krogans made possible. The Krogan were rendered almost sterile. They went to war like one too many times. So, they're hellacious fighters. I love having them on my team, or not, I picked up right away. Um, due to the names and whatnot, I've kind of got them as the Germans. I like to organize my stuff. Um, just kind of... Not not in any negative way, but um, just kind of so that I stay oriented on current affairs. So, I have them as the Germans. I have the traitors as the Russians. Despite the constant saber rattling, that's kind of what... People like to have hysterics because the Russians, um, they like fly warplanes over Alaska and stuff. And that's horrible. Like, it's not that that's a good thing. But it's saber rattling and they're trying to get their way. In light Huge of the recent trade, attack on Eden Prime, Prime, many colonial in investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization. So we banned trading with, Prime like, flat out banned it with Russia, so they, they just started to understand many America proposals are on hold that until our government is not our people and started trading in other countries with our corporations. So hopefully that does, like improve relations because they're in the space program with us so like all of this would be a product of russia japan and canada as well as the us so i mean it's, ju it's just heartbreaking to me when i play through this and i see in the news what i know is posturing but it does have the potential to break into aggression but i also know you know hey we've been banning them from trading with us at all and how rude is that to their culture like in their culture that's just horrid so and you know to america that's just normal yeah, like we just do that to get our way you know line. so but once you shut down trade you shut down a lot of communication and we're in something that produces military weaponry we're in something that produces scientific advances with them and we really do we just need better you know, it's so hard to explain. We just need better communications with them because saber rattling is so common in the middle middle sections of Eurasia that like you can't expect a whole culture to just not do that for you. You know what I mean? That we need to keep that open um, and transparent so that we don't have these disagreements because I would love to think that we're headed on a trajectory that would produce this. You know, that would that would make this happen. Okay, so hold on. So here's a dude who's got the wife. We can't find her remains. And he said it was a bar right here. I do not know of any bars that are right here. So this is, like, very frustrating. We can do this together. Together, friend, we won't get lost. I'm going to try and head up. See if that's... He gestured this way. So see how accurate the game is. Feeling good. Feeling good about this friend. Citadel Tower in the Wards. Embassies in CSAC. Okay, that's the embassies and then CSAC is right there. We just came out of here. That's the wards. I'm gonna check out Cora's done. We wanted to go there anyways. That's the other thing we have to clean up, so we'll go ahead and we'll go to Cora's done. It's fine. It's all fine. <laughs> we'll see if see if that's the high-end bar that this bloke thought was a good place to be sending me. The respect, respectable Coming lead. up in a report later today, Emily Wong investigates corruption on the Citadel and uncovers a full-blown crime syndicate. Yeah, like I said, that's that's from this, so we gave them from the wards. The cutscenes, I have the graphics on slightly lower poly, so, or excuse me, on slightly lower resolution so that it puts a shader on them while it loads simply so that, because when I run my camera, it does chew up the RAM. I have um, a computer I'm like saving to order, so 
that should be coming through where I get slightly higher resolution graphics. I found that about a third of my fans watch on their phone. So I was like, I mean, obviously we're going to do this. Obviously the most important thing is um, to go through and just keep producing, like finding the best quality stuff. Because half the time, like what I look for are um, interesting games at a low price. I feel that that's something that we offer that's really handy, you know. I'm surprised you're willing to fight Krogan, Rex. I thought you'd stand with your own. Anyone who fights us is either stupid or on Saren's payroll. Killing the latter is business. Killing the former is a favor to the universe. They're interesting dudes. Caden is kind of really personable. Whereas Erdna is a hardcore bounty hunter. Um, you do get to blink one of your crew members, spoiler alert, I'm playing a female, they don't really restrict you, I don't know if that was just game, game restrictions at the time or what the deal was with that, they don't really restrict you, um, so you can just whatever. That's pretty normal for the culture, what wasn't normal was that we didn't have that before, like, TV shows had this forever, where you're, like, rooting for the people to get together, so, depending on the conversations that you have, when you get to your 24 hours to live scenarios, um, you wind up being approached by one of your crew members who wants to know if you need a Thunder Buddy, so... That's really common in the military. It's discouraged between commanding officers and, you know, that sort of thing. Um, the fact that I'm a Spectre might preclude, preclude me from being viewed exclusively as a CO. I think there's a conflict of interest, but, I mean, I know that dude gamers rarely pick the chick option, so obviously I'm gonna figure this out. Oh, I was looking for this. Sorry. I'll be with you in just a sec. Her sister was freaking out about. Oh wait, right here. Why do I get the feeling you're not here to order drinks? I need to talk to you about your work with CSEC. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Now, if you don't mind, I need to get back to my customers. This isn't a game, Jenna. These people are dangerous. Now you sound like my sister. Why is everyone so concerned about me? I can take care of myself. I need to go. I'm not a stripper. I don't get paid to stand around and look pretty. Tough girl. I'm busy. The other waitress is going to help you. Sure. I got business here, but not with you. Don't waste your time on me, kid. None of these people want to talk. Where is this chick's... or this chick? Where is this dude's... there you are. Come on, son. If you've got questions about Jenna, meet me at Seasick Academy. What did you just say? Push off. I never did nothing to you. Damn newcomers. Think they can run the place. <laughs> it's so late. They do... What was that about? I guess we better go find out. They do spy work in this way, like, that's very American Flash. And we kind of took over James Bond because English Flash is, it's high profile, but it, it doesn't have that, like, I'm in a movie quality that Americans really do enjoy. So, um, we kind of went our direction with it. And I'm wondering if it'll swing back. Um, a man from Uncle had an uptick in popularity. There was that one. What else? Uh, it looks like we're going back to CSAC, which I might as well. I mean, that's right where we go right past it to try and find this bar this guy is talking about. But we're trying to get this girl out of trouble. She got into some nasty business. It was with Fisk's bar, so obviously we know it's bad. But yeah, there's like a lot of... team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. 
there's a lot of um like stuff that I wouldn't do because I would feel that it would impact my license in a negative way because you do have a permanent record when you have a um a license to, for black operations whether or not you're a mercenary they keep a per permanent record so um she is offered a lot of jobs that gamers take just because it's not in gaming culture we explore that's just what we do so it's meant to be harmless you're um i'm gonna try and jog it out here you are greatly encouraged to um explore all possibilities in the game that's one thing i don't like these offers should look a little bit more just a little bit more dangerous you know what i mean did I get the elevator to go off with them in battle position? Binary Helix has settled out of court with Take a Krogan out, group Kaden. that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. Said so they, the um, Krogan ran into a problem with her for fertility later on where they were just so restricted it was heartbreaking so we hear about that a lot so this is a nice squad um you can pick it from x amount of other members uh we picked up tally she's the only one who's exempt she's um 17 i think she's on a rum springer her people are gypsies so they wander around they had originally created the gap and now they kind of fell off as far as um as far as that goes, where they aren't really in control of them, they got mutinied, and they couldn't figure out if it was because they gained sentience, or simply because the programming learned to mimic that so well. So now they got their problem again, because, you know, they're getting picked up by Saren, and there's this returning menace that we keep getting warnings about and foreshadowing and all that good stuff. So let's head into CSAC. Let's see what this guy has for us. It's not open world um, in so far as each quest has an enclosed area in and then you progress the next Prime, one. Present another profile but it presents with that way. Like, that's really Batia. just how I prefer it. Otherwise, to me, it just seems sort of like, wife and you know, chef, the only Batia difference being is how you get a map in the form. After finishing her service, Batia planned to open a restaurant. Well, this Instead, she gave her life protecting the colonists of Eden Prime. For more profiles in Courage, or to explore opportunities in the military, please visit the Alliance Military so yeah, on the they extranet. Yeah, this chick's Keyword, body to her husband. Courage. Like, what is... I'm, I'm curious. That's why I'm trying to find this bar. So we'll go back through and we'll ask him again for directions, just in case I missed some marker or something. For more profiles in Courage, opportunities, please explore the extranet, use the word Courage, so I can actually look that up now. That's really cool. Alright, where is this guy? It said go to CSEC. Caden, Caden's questioning people. I'm questioning people. You're questioning people. Everybody's being questioned. This must be down into CSEC. There are a lot of Turians. I have them as the English. English are kind of douchey about, like, the word first when it comes to policing the universe. They were the world police before America. Um, lots of colonization, lots of settling, but lots of education along with news, it. Francis installing Kitt things like fresh water sources. The work of the members. church really kind of continues the that. Will dramatic and so America has followed in a language different and fashion but a similar claims form. That he's also excited by giving a human audience the chance to judge Hamlet by his deeds and not his emotions. The Elcor um, actually state their emotions. The Han are the little glowy guys that we keep running past. Um, the really tall ones. The Turians, uh, that's the dude that I bumped into at the bar. They're a lot of fun. We'll go see if we can't find out what's going on with Jenna. Figured if I run. <laughs> 
that's Officer Lang. We already talked to him. He's a fan of ours. I guess, you know, if you're a military hero, you get fans. I don't really understand it, but... So this is CSEC, huh? Or is CSEC CSEC? Door control. Presidium. Door control. There's flocks. We just came from there. I guess we could go talk to this chick about her sister. And then try and figure out, you know, where... I do like that they don't cut scene everything. A lot of places do just, um, you know, link together with doors. So, you know, you just walk into Flux. You don't actually have to elevator there. It doesn't load a whole nother section. We keep finding that race engaged in criminal activity, the one that looks like bugs. Oh, you know what? He wanted to talk to me about the girl. Let's talk to Rita anyway. It's great. Hey, any luck with Jenna? She wouldn't discuss it with me, but I think I might have a lead. That's great. Sorry about Jenna. She's always been like that. She won't learn until it's too late. Rita, I've got an order for you. Oh, I gotta go. Thanks again for looking into this. Alright, so... Reassured the chick. We get a... Hey, good to see another human. Good to, um... Good to stay up to date. That dude wants to tilt the gambling machines. Like, they're asking for my help, and I'm just like, I'm so obviously a Marine that I get lost. What are these people thinking? You know, the Marines and the cops don't get along great or anything, but they're not civilians, you know what I mean? Like, that just doesn't strike me as the brightest way to conduct yourself. So the markets in core is done. Wait, Med Clinic and CSEC just popped up. There we go. CSEC Academy. Place is huge. Um, we got to look out over the verge, so Caden, I mean, in no nobody is shocked by this. Like nobody. Caden was very interested in having a longer, more private talk with me. Is that door not open? Hold on. Med clinic. C sec. Where? Med clinic? Is CSEC. CSEC, where? I'm trying to see the. There we go, down the stairs. Really? I had that is upstairs. Running me in circles, son. This is getting frustrating. Hold on. I gotta go online and get a map of this place. CSEC Academy. This whole section must be CSEC. This is why I'm running it. Get my exercise on. Checked in uh, with the sister. Maybe that'll prompt the guy to show up. So hopefully, we can help. Hypothetically, we can talk in the elevator. They're not looking chatty. Reports are circulating that Alliance Ambassador Udina has accused a specter of orchestrating the attack we on Eden Prime. That. He's going Udina after reportedly based his accusation upon eyewitness accounts Saren. of the scene, but Wildly lacked the evidence dude. to demand further Known investigation. For going rogue. When asked to comment, a council oh, spokesperson would only to, state um, that the investigation of the attacks upon Eden Prime was currently ongoing. A human who was having the same problem. He was uh, one of our first CSEC officers. He basically told me to bugger off. I guess my charm isn't... I have it cranked all the way up. So I was hoping to make some sort of headway there, but I did completely wash out. Alright, there's that guy. Here's CSAC. Feeling good. Feeling good about my progress here. Where is my contact? Little rapid transit. We're not getting in any elevators, we're just looking. There is munitions. CSAC has okay munitions. We're the military, so our munitions kind of kick their munitions butt. That's where I came from. It goes straight up to the Presidium. Maybe the walkway here. Feeling good. Feeling right. There we go. There we go. Where are you, son? That's not him. Maybe I'll bump into somebody and literally jog their memories. Also looking for... Officer... Who's... Really beautiful scenery. Whose wife? Here we go. Kelly. Coming to my office. No 
offense, Commander, but what the hell were you thinking? What do you mean, what was I don't follow you. You could have blown Jenna's cover. We were trying to help her. I gathered that. It might seem cold letting her take all the risk, but we're keeping a close eye on her. Do you really need to risk her life to get the information you want? This job isn't easy and it's usually unpleasant. I'll take help anywhere I can find it. But since you're so concerned with her safety, maybe there's a way we can help each other. Always playing the angles, detective? It's part of the job. Now are you gonna help me or not? Ooh, ouch. I'll help you, but I need some details. I'm trying to track down an illegal arms producer. I just need some of their product. Thanks to Jenna's intel, I've learned there's a seller here on the Citadel. Meet our man named Jax. Pick up the mods and bring them back here. That'll give me everything I need. Why are you so concerned about these mods? We have access to some of the most sophisticated weaponry there is. It's what gives us our edge. What do you suppose happens when we lose that edge? These give criminals an advantage we can't afford to let them keep. You seriously? I'll persuade Jax to tell me where these mods are coming from. No. You tip Jax off and all my leads will disappear faster than you can say bad bust. Where can I find this Jax? Jax is down in the lower level of the markets. I'll send word through our channels that you're the buyer. Good luck, Commander. So I'm gonna show up looking like a marine and buy. Is there corruption going on that I don't know about? Alright. So that tells us about Jenna. Still nothing on a bar. <laughs> We're trying to find a bar here! Like, how hard is this? Oh, I think I dead end here. Yeah. They have the weirdest setup for the offices, where it looks like it's so obviously alien that I guess they can just get away with it. But, um... It's frustrating, because it's like, it's not intuitive where stuff is. So, okay, so we got our contact in CSEC. We're gonna go down into the wards. I might as well come up through the Presidium so that I can talk to Batya and see about his wife. You know, like, what is going on? And then go pick up this fire. After that, I think we've closed. Celebrations are being planned for the all. anniversary of the end of the Rechna Wars. Many council worlds, particularly Poor Asari background. and Solarian colonies, will hold victory parades to commemorate the defeat of the Guns are incredible. Rapnai. They did a really good job on the weapon. In a rare admission of debt, several Asari Armor's colonies tailored. have invited Krogans to be honored for the victories the uplifted Krogans made possible. Got not only a sidearm, but also a backup. Rifles, sniper rifles, shotgun. So... You come equipped when you get in a fight. Uh, you can facial mod, so you do actually get to pick out exactly what your character looks like, just like in Elder Scrolls. Um, so that's cool. So we're going, let's see, wards for a buyer, and then we'd also like to talk to this. Let's get on that. Here we go. He's right here. We'll just go chat him up again. Where is the fancy bar? Door control. Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosker? Will he return my wife's body? Where can I find this Mr. Bosker? He was in the expensive bar over there. Over Not there. Yet. I'll be back when I have more to tell you. Thank you, Commander. This dude is making me insane. So it's not a bar here. I'm gonna look real fast. I think this is just the di diplomatic. Yeah, this is just diplomat. So. Scoot your butt, Rex. He's like better door than a lampshade, I swear. All right, so this way. There's Bachia. He said it's over this way. Feel oh, good. Feel fine. Feel this way all the time. I just went to Flux, so there's no way that's it. That's Seasack. See if we can hop her up in transit down the rewards. Yep, 
they have a number of sculptures and so on celebrating the different events. So it does have a very, and like I said, with the slides, you can go through the whole thing. The histories of all the races and everything, it's very in-depth. So that's cool. Full we'll hop a little, there's a Hanar right there. Really different. Different little dudes. Where's Citadel Rapid Transit? Where there was only darkness, the enkindlers gave light. That's nice, there dude. Only the gave There's a Vena. Where there was only There's a Keeper. Lots of mystery surrounding the Keepers. Nobody quite knows what's going on. Oh, that's the little tower. We don't want that. Really, like I said, cool sculptures. That's a Mass Effect relay. That's what we use to travel around. I'll be able to talk to them about the police officer a little bit later. There we go. Words. CSAC Cora's done. Market. You can hop on um, the shuttle. So we'll just. I'm a New Yorker. We'll just do that. Alright. Arrived at the markets and the wards. Come on. Who can I talk to? I got an expat at a Volus shopper. Best place on this ward to buy upgrades. Good place to buy upgrades. Go ahead. Citadel Rapid Transit, I got Caden. I've never been a real fan of crowds. Markets. Go down into the wards. Bars all along here. Markets and cores down. Hold on. Checking at flux. That is not where I have my contact. I did check up there for Batia's. Commanding officer to the Presidium, Med Clinic, and CSAC. CSAC. You're familiar with this area by now. There's a little bit of jogging back and forth, you can cut that down with the rapid tra transit. Hold on. Let's do. Head down to Cora's Den. We'll do that. He'll be in there somewhere. That's where all of the crime happens. Where is this dude? He'll be down in here somewhere. So that's one of their that's one of their informants then, and that's why she's working there. It's interesting. Where's the back alley? It's interesting where they drop you off. It's like right by a directional, but I don't see anything other than... It's not a teleport, I swear. It's a short version of that. Everything goes down in here, so let's find out. Another bar. Still no sign of Batia's. So yeah. Here you are, friend. Hold it. That's close enough, Army. You got my payment? Do you have the mods? Show her the goods. That looks about right. Damn straight it is. These mods are the best on the market. Now hand over my credits. You're under arrest? I thought I wasn't allowed to do that. Here you go. We're gonna play this straight, so... Here you go. Enjoy it. Come on, boys. We're done I don't here. I they're trying to bust a ring or what's going on here. I just, they have to be trying to bust up a crime ring. I wish I could find that one CO, but I guess that's not happening for me. We can just pretty much bounce up out of here. At this point, 
go space traveling, we miss Joker. We have this great pilot, his name is Joker. Some sort of problem with his legs, where he has uh, essentially osteoporosis, but he's still an incredible navigator, so really great sense of humor. He's a fun character. We'll riot if Joker, if Joker buys it, there's gonna, there will be outreach to the Presidium. Hold on, is this way to see sac them? I just like push my people out of the way. Out of the way! On a mission here, yeah, c is. Mm -hmm. Ed Clinic and c -Sec. Down the stairs, around the way. Wait, Officer Lang, hold on. Oh yeah, that's that dude. Alright, that dude. Let's get out of the way. c -Sec Academy! c -Sec Academy! And then hopefully I'll be able to talk to this chick and maybe Batia's seal will show up and I'll be able to get her out of my hair. Maybe it was just to get you to go talk to Jenna. Who knows? In light of the recent Never attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors thinking. are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Yeah, many Eden colonial Prime was proposals a big blow. are on hold we were until like, backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. So they won't back us up on that. Um, they're not going to send us much in the way of help because we were pushing a little bit beyond what was recommended, and that's just what happens. It can be like 10 feet beyond what's recommended and the council won't help you. That's unfortunately inner, I mean, intergalactic in this case, so much more understandable, but inner anything politics. Um, once you pass the boundary, that's you. So, where was this guy down or up? I thought he was up. He was up, wasn't he? <laughs> Such an idiot. Oh, nope, that's our position. Yeah, he's up. Requisition officer, no! Give me information! There we go. I always come up the wrong side of those stairs. Alrighty. Where's my dude? Where are you, my dude? Oh, my dude. Commander, I hear you have something for me. Here's your shipment, Jellic. Excellent. This is everything I need. Hmm. Maybe more than I need. Here, Commander, take this. I won't need it, and you've earned some cool. paper for your work. As for Jenna, I'll make sure we get her out of Kor's den immediately. Now I need to get these mods into evidence. Thanks again, Shepard. Awesome. So I think I leveled. So we'll go ahead and we'll look at um we'll get some armor piercing out uh, rounds. You can upgrade, like I said, just about anything. Um I have incredible stuff already, so we'll go ahead and we'll add them in here. Equip that. Um they are a little bit less well equipped, but that is what it is. If you have any points, you can upgrade um, Specialized First Aid Engineer. My charm can go up one now, so that's awesome. I leveled up. I usually put one of them on Medic Duty. Krogan's just basically kick butt, so we both know it's going to be Caden. So I'm in Jindra. This is what to play next. As far as space exploration goes, this episode was actually one of the slower ones, um, where we just kind of did a little side questing and stuff like that, but it's it's so gamer. Like, you, know, you can't hate. So hit... um. The like and sub oops, subscribe, like, comment, talk to this chick, make her happy. We love you guys. We love that you're along for the ride. Um, if you hit show more in the description below, you can either purchase the game. It's like, for an RPG, it's not bad. It is higher than our usual. We usually try to find, like, mad bargains. This one's probably still, like, 20 or 30 bucks. It is an excellent game. You can also find, if you're stuck at home, if your Starbucks closed, anything like that, Gamer Grind, um, we partnered with them. They ship coffee directly to your door, and it is Gamer Coffee. So, you know, don't take the hit there. Recover. We, everybody, we are here for you. So, you know, you're going to make it through. You know, do something cool. It's like 20 bucks to get like half a month's worth of coffee or whatever. So, just chuck the money. 
feel better. It's less than buying your Dunkin' every day and everything like that. So, you know, you can, you can do that one step closer to safety where it's just so. Anyways, like I said, hit subscribe. We love you guys. We'll see you in the next video.